Hi everyone and welcome back to the music room. I think it's day five of the COVID coronavirus lockdown and today is St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's looking really rainy and grey as it does often on St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. So we're feeling pretty festive. Um, there's going to be no parade and no crack in the pubs. Uh, so we have to make our own crack here at home. Um, so I wish you all a very happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm doing one of these broadcasts every day, bring me some new music. And um, if you want to hop on my patreon.com site, patreon.com slash Justin Grounds, um, you can help support me in my music making um, ongoing for $3 a month. You get loads of new music, new film music. But I'm just going to put these all out for free for everyone. <coughs> for my students, um, for the people that I usually work with in the hospital, people who come to my concerts. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I'm going to play for you a piece, a really beautiful Irish tune. It's known as She Biog She More, which means um, Biog is uh, small and more is big. And the she often refers to like a, a fairy mound or a fairy fort. And it's said that this piece is all about two tribes of fairies, one who lived in a big one and one who lived in a small one, and they're kind of having a battle with each other, which is interesting because it's just like a really peaceful, beautiful tune. So there's something going on inside it. It's attributed to this amazing <coughs> composer and musician who was born in 1690 called Turlock O'Carolan, who went blind at the age of 18 from smallpox and um, basically spent his life travelling around as a blind harp player, staying in people's houses <coughs> and writing them tunes. And so loads of the tunes that we have of his are attributed, are dedicated to people, to his patrons, basically. Um, it's interesting, right now I'm using the time here in the, in the house to work on two slightly larger pieces of music for two of my patrons. So life goes on as normal for musicians. Um, so I'm going to play this piece. It's, it's, you know, a lot of Irish music is, is a very fluid history to it. And a lot of the tunes come from other places. And many people think that this tune was called the Cuckoo. Um, and there's a lot of references to a tune called the Cuckoo. Um, which uh, Caroline may have heard and he may have then wove into his own music. I mean, all music, this is the beauty of it, we share it with each other and then it takes on new forms and it makes new voices and it's always moving and evolving and changing and as we play it and as we perform it and as we share it. So, um, yeah, I'll play it for you now. Uh, enjoy She Biog She More. I'm actually going to play it on my fiddle but I'm also going to play this beautiful instrument with my feet. This is a Shruti box from India and uh, it creates a lovely bass drone underneath. So I'm just doing a, a fifth D. We were talking about those fifths the other day, you know, how, how harmonious they are in nature. So when you push it, you get a lovely drone and that should create a ground, it's called a ground bass for which to play. Tune. Anyway, I hope you're all staying safe, staying well, um, being creative, making up tunes, writing to each other, connecting on the internet. Um, send me some comments, send me some, some ideas, um, stuff you want to hear or you want to learn about. Um, let's interact and um, have a good St. Patrick's Day.